Hello, welcome, greetings, how are you? Looking good. Um, first of all, big shout out and thanks to my 3030th person who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you. I do know who you are because um, I got the email, but I um, don't have it in front of me right now. But thank you. You are very much appreciated. Um, so that's that happened. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I'm tired because I had work today. I didn't get to sleep very well last night. And, um, yeah, I got called, like, last minute to do the work. So that was fun. But hey, work. Monies. And if I don't get work, if I don't get the call for work tomorrow, I'm going to call people and say, hey, um, we need to sort this out. But that's besides the point. That's neither here nor now. There's nothing to do with this. Because this is why we are here. See the pretty, see all the colours. We'll probably look at the back. Yeah, the back's quite colourful as well, with a different type of alicorn. Is it an alicorn if it's not Faustian? I don't know. Anyway, um, should we... Uh... Oh, okay, this is a very short one because um, this is... Well, this is... Okay. I'm going to have to think of something else to talk about because I can't talk about this one. And that's... That's a shame. What are your feelings about flying? What is the best or worst aeroplane experience you've ever had? I've never been on an aeroplane. This is a very presumptuous answer, a uh, question. It's, it's not only suggesting the, everyone who's got this book has been on an aeroplane, it's suggesting they've been on an aeroplane more than once. And, um, I haven't. I've been on a flight sim. I've been on like those simulator things that you know for roller coasters rides, but never for an aeroplane. Um, one of my feelings on flying, well, it looks awesome. <laughs> um, if we're talking about aeroplane flight, then you know people do it all the time. Like there are any at any point anywhere in the world, there are probably dozens of flights um, preparing to leave, actually leaving, just left or preparing to land right as I'm talking right right as I'm recording this now right as you're watching this whenever you're watching it flight is a thing that's happening all over the world so yay for the world yay for the Wright brothers um I, a flight is not something I've ever done I've never had reason to fly anywhere I've not been anywhere um the, the only <coughs> excuse me the only foreign country I've actually been to is France and that was on a boat and that was fun I like boating. That was, um, yeah, it was, you know, running around the deck and saying, hey, I know my way around now. And realizing, oh, actually, there's a whole other load of ship that could be explored, but not really. Yeah, we didn't leave that area. So we were young. So it was probably best that we didn't. Um, so, haven't flown. So, have no good experiences, no bad experiences. Um, well, so let's talk about my, my attitude towards flying, theoretically. I named myself Phoenix. I did that partly because I think they're awesome, as as witnessed by Forks, but also because flying, dude. Um, see, so okay, so here, here here's the thing. So would I want to fly like a bird? I think I've discussed this before, and it would be interesting to have that kind of. But then, <sighs> Superman flight would be more interesting, you know, because you. You're still humanoid. You still got fingers and, and you know up exposed, you know disposable digits and things that you can actually manipulate when you get out there. And in, as I say, assuming that you think, well, maybe you know, Iron Man, you still got digits, but you've got also the suit to protect you and and, and do all of that stuff with. Uh, so that kind of flight would be interesting. Um, Aaron's starting up a My Little Pony RPG game soon. Uh, we're on. Um, the, those of us who are good. Sorry, I'm looking over there because, yes, I'm locating my book because I need to read it. On Friday, the small group of us that have expressed interest in playing it are going to be getting together to generate our characters. And I was originally going to go for Pegasus because flying! Uh, I thought about Unicorn because I've always liked the idea of having telekinesis. Um, but I don't know. I, I guess I just like the idea of you know going around and flying more and sort of doing that than 
telekinesis is a cool idea, but I don't know. I guess the flying and the being a Pegasi appeal to me more. But what I have discovered, what Erin shared with us today, at one moment. <coughs> We're gonna be we're gonna be doing this, and this is the first original book, as far as I'm aware. Um, there's a beastery that's available now. There's um, obviously there's a, like expansion packs, and there's like a movie expansion pack which I haven't been able to get hold of yet. I did um, look at the website, which is uh, River Horse, which is apparently in, in based in the UK, which I didn't realise. Um, yeah, and I added it up to buy my own copies of every single book within this RPG itself. It'd be about 70, 80 pounds, which I haven't really got at the moment. Uh, I don't know if they like if you buy them all at once, you can get a discount, but they haven't expressed that yet. So this book is literally just the the three, you know, the Earth type, um, yeah, just just pony kinds, no other creatures, but. Aaron was telling us that we can be other creatures because he's got he's got the stats and notes for them. Um, and I think he said baby dragons, um, buffalo, crystal ponies, uh, a couple of other things, and changelings. Uh, like ooh, so changelings can fly, which is what I like the idea of, and they're um they're shapeshifters. And they can take on, I guess they can take on the abilities of who they think, because <clears throat> yeah, the main thing with certainly a character like Dashi is that she is fast um, and obviously she's a cloud buster. Um, so, you know, that would be kind of cool stuff to have. But then if a changeling is pretending to be Dashi, does that mean they still have, they have the cloud busting ability as well? I don't know, I mean, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna have to sort of look at the stats and and work out that we. That's what Friday's all about. We're um, gonna be getting together online and um, generating our characters and I guess discussing discussing what you know the, the doings and um, you know Erin's gonna sort of answer all, all our questions, which I'm sure I'm not the only one that has questions. I haven't actually finished reading this yet. I've started it, but I haven't. Uh, I haven't actually. Because you've got traits and stamina, you got... I ha the reason I hadn't read this is basically because I didn't need to. <laughs> I, um, I, I thought, well, I'm not really going to need to worry about it until I'm going to be, you know, actually playing a game. So um, now I'm going to... I'm going to need to. I'm going to need to read the book. Although, am I going to need to read all this stuff about... Pony cutie marks and talents if I'm playing a changeling. I think this is the sort of thing we need to talk to Aaron about. Look! The artwork in this is great though, because we've got the map. The new one, um, the movie one everyone was telling me about, has got the uh, the bottom of the map. So you've got uh, Clutchland and Sequestrian and places like that on the map. But yeah, so yeah, pony kinds. Um, and other. Oh, it's so good! Quiet's original place. So, if nothing else, the artwork and mythology is amazing. But yeah, so he's got the beastery, um, different things that you can do. Uh, so that'll be fun. Haven't haven't worked out um, what I'm going to call myself now that I'm going to be um, a changeling rather than a Pegasus. But that'll be fun. So yeah, it, it, it's um. It's something to do. So yeah, my, my thoughts on flying is that it sounds like it's going to be fun. It'd be interesting. Um, in in actual terms of an actual aeroplane, yes, it's something I, I, I look forward to doing someday, but I'm also that because it's something I've never done before. So there is the anxiety um, issue of like, okay, I'm in a thing that I've never done before. And people do it every day, but I've never done it. So there might be some normal anxiety there. But, you know, I 
I can honestly say I've never had a good experience and I've never had a bad experience because I've never had any experience on a plane. But um, fly, like a fly like a Pegasus or a Changeling? Yeah, we could go for that. Um, yeah, so, sorry, this is, this is a question I couldn't really do much with because I don't have the requisite experience to be able to answer the question. But I did get to talk about this. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, so that's what I'm doing on Friday, is, is generating a character. Uh, the only thing I'm not looking forward to, and this has already been discussed, it's a big secret, is because the rest of the group are Americans in America, and they have to compensate for the time differences. Um, it'll be like 6 in the evening, 6, 7 in the evening for them, depending on where they are, and 2 in the morning for me. So that'll be fun. I'm going to have to, have, have to take a nap beforehand. Um, but yeah, so... Um, yeah, that, that's that's it. It's not a lot I can say about that because I don't have the experiences that the questions ask about. So there we go. Um, that's, I do need a new piece of paper. I'll, I'll redo one. So yeah, here's me on the Twitters. Do feel free to follow me. Um, here's me on the Tumblrs. I, you can, but I don't tend to do much with it. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Tell me your flying stories. You know, should I worry? Should I not worry? Um, you know, well, it's always good to talk. It's good to talk. Um... But yes, thank you for watching. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.